Okay, so in the last video, we uh, we set up this little action here where we've got the dual spinning, the camera spinning left to right, the character spinning right to left, and we wind up with, in real time, this is what it looks like. Okay. All right. Cut to next scene. All right. So what is our next scene? Let's take a look. Uh, if we go back to our little... Um, in fact, I'm just going to move it out to where I can see it now I can all right let's take a look at our little all right the next scene is we are going to see the world through this character's eyes and now we aren't going to be shooting anybody we are going to be shooting maybe a brick or something I don't know so instead of a person there imagine a brick but we're gonna create a camera with that little chevron on there and it'll look all reddish and I'll have to do some compositing to make it look reddish so you have to take my word for it but uh, we'll get there. All right. So the first thing we want to do is, so we're going to be shooting a block or something out here, I guess. So I'm just going to add a cube, um, scale it up to a, you know, something that you can see. Okay. So eventually this cube is going to get blown to smithereens. So I'm going to set it up right now to where I can uh, blow it up. So now eventually I'll probably put in a particle system an explode system so that when I shoot it it'll blow up into several parts and the, the particle system it works by um, each one of these faces will become a different shatter and so I'm just setting it up right now to where we're ready to have it explode okay so now he's whipped his face around boom he's gone from being over here knocked off balance to coming into on balance looking at his target here so now we're gonna set up a new camera and this camera is going to be his view. Uh, so I'm going to add a camera. I'm going to get it into a pro. Now it doesn't have to be exact vision at all. Um, it just has to be close. Okay. And so now, right here, I'm going to have it switch. This currently is my active camera. I'm going to have to make the scene switch to being this is my active camera. So in order to do that. I am going to uh, add a marker here. So I'm going to press the M key down in my timeline. All right. And now if I go over here to my world settings, notice how it says camera. Currently my active camera is right here. And by the way, one thing that I like to do is I like to change the name of my camera. Since I'm always trying to, to grab them really quickly, you know, I like to use my outliner. I like my cameras to be right up here at the top. And now if I had a whole bunch of objects in this scene, which I typically do, I'll typically have hundreds or thousands of objects, the camera will typically be lost somewhere down here, way down here. So if I were to rename my camera as 0.0.cam1, all right, that corresponds to this camera. And now it will always be one of the first objects in my list here. And now if I rename this camera, control click, let's name that 0.0.cam2. Okay, you can give them better names if you want. And now this armature, this corresponds to that guy's armature. Why don't I rename that? Typically, the, the important things in a scene would be cameras and armatures. Those are the things you're dealing with all the time when you're doing animations. So cameras, I type in 0.0, .0 or 0 0.1 maybe. For armatures, I typically type in 1.0s or 1.1s. 1.0.badboy. Okay. And so now that just keeps the important objects up to the top of my uh, my object stack. All right, but let's go back. This is my uh, this is the camera that I want to work with. So at this marker, I want to bind this camera. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to frame uh, where is that? View bind camera to markers. So this is the active marker and this is my selected camera over here and I'm going to bind that camera to the marker. Okay, but now the problem is, it's now I've bound this whole scene to that camera. All right, let's turn off my image. All right, so now this is the view from that one camera. So basically my entire scene is bound to this camera. So I'm gonna add another marker right here at the beginning of my scene. So I'm gonna say that at the beginning of my scene, I want this to be my active camera, camera one. And so I'm going to bind that camera there. All right, so now camera one is bound at this point. Boom, then we switch over to camera two. Now this camera two is supposed to be his view, okay? 
So that's the view of this character. And notice how it's a little bit offset, but that really doesn't make a difference. I mean, it, he's not going to be in the picture, so it's just got to be kind of in the area of where his eyes would be. Okay, and now here's what I want. I want to have like a chevron or something in front of him. So I'm going to put my cursor out there, and I'm just going to add a plane. Okay, and now I'm going to rotate. I'm going to go in edit mode, rotate that thing 90 degrees, and now can I see that plane? Um, okay, there's my plane. So this is going to become my chevron. Now how do I do that? I'm going to scale it along the x-axis, shoot, scale it along the z-axis, zoop. So notice how now it extends beyond my, my, uh, my camera view. I'm going to duplicate that, okay, and now I'm going to rotate it. 90 degrees. All right, now I'm going to scale it along the x-axis just so that it's out of the actual camera frame. And in fact, let's scale it further. And let's take this one and scale it further. Okay. And now this is something that's always smart to do. Uh, it shouldn't be a it shouldn't make a difference, but I'm just going to move it towards the camera just a little bit. Okay. And now let's um, let's add a, another thing. Let's add just a circle. Okay, and now let's see where, okay, so it's in about the right spot. Okay, and now let's extrude that, scale it in just a little bit. All right, now you can do your chevron. You can make it all so, as fancy as you want it to be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent that chevron to the camera here. I'm going to press Control P, set parent to object. And so now, whenever I move my camera, my chevron moves right along with it. All right, so this would be like this character has this chevron, and I'm going to give it a material, a red material, um, if I can find its material settings. I'm going to add a new material, and I'm just going to call it red, and it will be in fact red. Bam. Okay, so there's its chevron. That's not. I don't like that red at all. Okay, I don't like that one much better. Um, I just want red. Nothing else. Boom, and I don't want any specular. All right, that'll work. Okay, it's kind of big. It kind of takes up a lot of the space, but whatever. All right, now it's parented it. So now I can have it, let's say I want him to like lock in on that box. So the chevron starts like somewhere up here. I'm gonna insert a keyframe for it there. And then how long do I want this one to last? Let's say it lasts two seconds. So I'm gonna move 50 frames forward and the chevron is locked in on the box. Okay, insert. All right, now you can see that the chevron moves into the box, but now typically you'd want like some kind of a tweening motion to where it actually like locks in. Shoot. All right, boom, all right, and now, but he's also, he's changing his view. So he's whipping his face around. So that would mean if this is supposed to look like his eyeballs, then this camera would be whipping at the same time too. So I'm going to go a little bit above here and I'm going to do something like this. I'm starting a little bit before I switch over to this camera and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, insert, and then I'm going to go to where we end, which was I think about frame 110, and I'm going to rotate it, get that into position where I want it to be, insert, okay? And so now you can see how he whips over, boom, switch to his camera view, shoom, lock into position. Boom, all right, and again, I don't want to be able to see outside the camera. This just helps me set up. Okay, boom, okay, we are set. So now he's locked in on the target. Now I could have a whole lot of fun with this. I could have his, you know, I could do more with the Chevron, have it lock in. I could have it move, um, you know, I could have it do something like this. Shoop you know, move in and out, something like that to like look like he's, you know, choop, choop, choop. I could have another chevron that comes in around it. I could do all sorts of fancy stuff. And in my final animation, I might do something like that. But now you see what I would do. So he's just locking in on it. Okay, boom, that looks good. I like it. Uh, but I'm just gonna change the timing a little bit. I don't know if I like that. Okay. Yeah, that works. I mean, it's maybe not the best, but it works. Okay, so now let's watch what we've got going on so far. Okay, I press the E key. Now I'm just going to press play. Boom, we whip around. 
okay, and I can see right now I've got an issue. Notice how I don't like the fact you go from motion to pause to motion. I don't like that. So either keep motion or start or go from pause to pause to motion. What I mean is notice how you've got motion, camera stop. Camera's moving when this when it cuts. Now that's not good. So it's either motion, pause, pause, motion, or motion to motion. And I'm gonna go motion to motion. And in order to do that, I need to move this marker. I just need to move the marker to, in fact, I need to move everything. So notice how my cursor is here. This green line is here. I'm gonna control right click over here. And now that selects all the keyframes over here for the selected object. And actually, what I wanna select is this camera. So this camera is selected. So I'm gonna put this thing here. And, and what I wanna do, uh, let's see, what am I doing? What if I just move the marker? Let's just move the marker. So this will be the switching point. Let's just move the switching point right there. Let's see how that works. All right, now there's a pause again. So now we need to worry about the camera itself. Let's start the camera action a little bit earlier. Let's see how that works. I still don't like it. Switch. That's when I should switch. All right, so I'm gonna move my marker over. And now I'm gonna move my camera motion over. I'm gonna move this camera motion over. And I also need to tweak the, uh, the, the motion of the chevron. All right, let's see how that looks. Motion switch. Okay, how do we like this? Uh, I'm just trying, I'm thinking in my head, should I be going from the other direction? Should I be rotating from the Z direction, like the other direction on my, uh, on my camera? I don't know. I'm just going to stick with it. All right. That'll be the end of this, this part of the tutorial. Again, DX3 Studios, that's where it's at. I'll uh, catch me later.